the Eritrean national champion, Mahawi Kudus. The Eritrean national champion, Mahali Kudus. Mahali Kudus of Astana. The Eritrean national champion, Mahali Kudus. Mahali Kudus of Astana. Communication riders in to position with Ben O'Connor. Dimension data well to the front, as was Mahali Kudus of Astana. The slopes took their toll and the group was whittled down to a select few and it would be Valeria Conti of UAE Team Emirates who would be the first rider to go on the tack. This would be the catalyst for the moves to follow and it was the wonder kid from Belgium, Remco Venepol, the double junior and European champion who went on the attack. He pulled a group clear, also containing Felix Grosjana and Mojave Kudus. But the young Belgium at just 19 years old was starting to build an advantage and it was Conti who reacted. Many riders were chasing behind. The trio would make their way back up to the Belgian with just 3.1 kilometers to go to the summit. The temperatures evident in the breath of the riders. Gross Chartner, the rider with the most to gain, he was the virtual leader on the road. The Eritrean national champion, Mahawi Kudus, put in an attack on the front, the recent winner of the Tour of Rwanda. Gross Chartner reacted again for Bora Hans Grower, and it was a battle between these two all of the way up the mountain. Kudus attacked. And he gapped the Austrian behind as Evenepoel and Conti were both working to try and come back up to them. Gross Chartner made his way back to the Eritrean again. And with 200 meters to go, it would be the Austrian that jumped clear as Kudus looked back to make sure that he had second place in the bag. And it would be the first big victory of the Austrian's career. He came through the mist, sat up to take another victory for Bora Hansgrohe. Goodis was overhauled into the finish by Valeria Conti right on the line. He came through to take second, but the day belonged to the Austrian.